We're standing here with the seven inch Gerbera. It's got patios like the one in my hand with the big flower and the Garvinias. And they're gonna be good next week because today's Thursday, it's Thursday! Memorial Day weekend coming up. So a lot of flowers to open for the coming week. Last week we took a look at these cannas and they were very tightly budded. You can see just how fast they open. So these are gonna move really fast this week. Seven inch canna, canna canova. A lot of our 10 inch patio pots are ready for the coming week and you can see this is one of the XXL dahlias with the big flowers. So we're taking a look at 10 inch canary wing begonias. We've had them in 10 inch hangers. So this will be a summer crop in the 10 inch patio pots. So you be the judge. We'll list them for the coming week so you can see the size. And I think they'll be pretty good for next weekend. So 10 inch patio begonias, 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 begonias. So we've got Encanto orange here, a perfect plant for the summer. They love the full sun. Uh, you can see if you look down the run, there's a lot of other varieties such as Bossa Nova white, upright fire and and some selenias all in 10 inch pots got a lot of begonias coming in hangers the selenia series is outstanding this year with the new yellow with the deep color uh, and there's others like apricot that i don't have in front of me that are really full so selenia begonias other begonias such as the bossa novas and while we're here you can see some of our portofino begonias in the on in the pots behind us Reminding you, we've still got a new crop of 12-inch hangers that are really outstanding with great mixes. A lot of them have five components in the pot. This week's premium 8-inch foliage hanger of the week is Pilea Aquamarine. You can see just how thick these are. I know a lot of you like them in the 6-inch pots. Now we've got some super thick 8-inch pots. This is an often missed variety amongst our six inch offering. It's a, it's a bronze leaf pilea, sometimes called Creeping Charlie. Uh, the, the, the little pilea depressa is quite common with the lighter green. This one I really like with the bronze, bronze leaf pilea. Still got a lot of six inch begonias, new crops every week. Six inch begonia, these are a latier. Then we've got four inch a latier begonia and we'll take a look at some of the other types. Another begonia lesson today. This is a latter begonia, but it almost looks like uh, a uh, Solenia because it's got such double flowers for an Aladier. And then we come down here to some Solenia. And remember, these take a lot more sun than the Aladier. Then we come way down here, a reminder of our Miss Montreal. No, I'm sorry, that was a test. This is Miss Malibu, Miss Montreal. And we'll come way down and look at all these uh, portofinos. These portofinos are, I think, going to be a hot deal next year because they're so double. And they've, the flowers stand up nicely, very nicely to see. So here's a new item for us. We've got some limited numbers on 11-inch colanders. We've got them sown four weeks in a row. This is the first group ready. And they're just all basil, all about basil, 11-inch colanders. Just a, rem a reminder of the uh, four inch Ficinia, native of South Africa. Ice crystals by the, uh, looks like snow and ice, like from, they're frosted on the edges. So Ficinia, and we'll have a, a number of groups of these still coming for now and for the summer. So here's a new crop of six inch Jurassic begonias. And there's about six colors in the Jurassic Rex begonia group. And these do get larger than the uh, more typical Rex. There's real good numbers on Agaranthemum Beauty Yellow. Beauty Yellow is such an improvement for the yellow Agaranthemum, and these will flower all summer. Yeah. 